I salute you, dear. How are you? I know you are good as I am here. I am Reverend Charles Sajani Boatin, the General Vice of Revenge Rest Ministry. I am at my kitchen. Hmm? I am preparing something. Okay? Look, I am preparing light soup. And my food is on uh, <laughs> the, the cylinder. Look, very nice one. Okay? Very, very, very nice one. You see? Mm -hmm. My advice to the guys outside there. If you are a guy, stop eating outside, okay? And find time and prepare yourself a delicious meal in order not to de uh, uh, develop cancer or uh, mucous arthritis. Uh, the doctors, are you there? <laughs> uh, I, I can say. Okay, let's look at Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse number 11. Uh, the Bible says, Do not use the name of uh, the Lord your God in vain. Do not use the name of the Lord your God in vain. And the question is, if I refuse to use the name in vain, what happens? Yeah, we call something spiritual sort of distraction. Whenever you begin to lie or profane the name of God, there's a chaos of distraction awaiting you. Why do you try to prophesy falsely to people? With the name of God. You know that what you are saying is a lie. There's no little truth in it. But you are using the name of God to deceive people. Please be warned. Why? Because God will never and ever let you go scot free. There's a revenge against those people. They are called false prophets. Never classify yourself among them. Be very careful. Always be loyal to people, as well as the God of your creator is also concerned, and he will bless you. I end here with my regards. Stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.